In this video, we are going to discuss projection of solids with the condition axis inclined to VP and parallel to HP. When a solid is resting with its axis inclined to any one of the plane, the projections, that means the elevation and plan of the solid, can only be drawn in two stages. Since the axis is inclined to VP, initially we have to assume that the axis of the solid is perpendicular to VP. Projection of the solid with this axis perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP must be drawn as the first stage. This condition we have already discussed in the previous video. For the second stage plan, the plan of the first stage should be tilted for the given inclination with respect to the XY line. Then by projecting from the plan of the second stage and elevation of the first stage, the final elevation can be drawn. Elevation of the initial position, that is the base shape of the solid, must be drawn by considering the sub-conditions of the solid with respect to the planes. When a prism is lying with its rectangular face on the ground, that particular rectangular face should be touching the XY line and thereby it is understood that the axis is parallel to HP. The elevation of the first stage is to be drawn by having one side of the polygon on the XY line. Project the corners and draw the plan. Now to draw the second stage plan, we should see the inclination of the object with VP. Thereby redraw the second stage plan for the given inclination. For the elevation of the second stage, draw projection lines from the second stage plan and from the first stage elevation. Identify the corresponding intersection points and darken the visible lines. Inner edges or invisible lines should be drawn as dotted lines. Here are few different prisms with the same condition resting on the ground with this rectangular face and with the axis inclined to VP. Pentagonal prism. Hexagonal prism. The second possibility for a prism is in this axis inclined to VP and parallel to HP is lying with this longer edge. Triangular prism lying with this longer edge. Square prism. Pentagonal prism. Hexagonal prism Now we will go in detail about pyramids in the same condition axis inclined to VP and parallel to HP. A pyramid can rest with its base edge on the HP. Triangular pyramid Square pyramid Though the pyramid is resting with its base edge, the triangular face of the pyramid can be perpendicular to HP and VP. The triangular face can be even parallel to VP, triangular face inclined to VP, triangular face perpendicular to VP and triangular face parallel to VP. Pentagonal pyramid resting on base edge with axis inclined to VP and parallel to HP. Hexagonal pyramid In the same condition, hexagonal pyramids slant edge perpendicular to VP Slant edge can be even parallel to VP Slant edge inclined to VP, slant edge perpendicular to VP, slant edge parallel to VP. Another possibility is pyramid resting with its base corner, triangular pyramid, square 
स्क्वायर पिरामिड being its base corner in hp slant edge of square pyramid can be perpendicular to vp or slant edge can be even parallel to vp slant edge inclined to vp slant edge perpendicular to vp slant edge parallel to vp pentagonal pyramid resting with the same base corner hexagonal pyramid while resting with this base corner triangular face of hexagonal pyramid can be perpendicular to vp or even parallel to vp triangular face inclined to vp triangular face perpendicular to vp triangular face parallel to vp cylinder lying on the ground with its axis inclined to vp cone resting with a point of its base generator of cone inclined to vp generator of cone perpendicular to vp generator of the cone is parallel to vp